reason I always forget an umbrella, so that's the one thing. Have it with you, you mean today. Both. Yeah, after lunchtime today is when it all okay. moves in. Okay. And the really heavy stuff is tonight after about 8 o'clock. So as you're kind of settling in for the evening, oh, okay. that's when the heaviest rounds will be overhead. Let's take a look right now. Things are relatively quiet, but you can see the flash flood watch is in effect for all areas Cincinnati into the south and southeast through tomorrow morning. So here's the timeline. The rain starts afternoon. It starts to the south. It'll eventually spread to the north. And I would expect the heaviest bands to be around 8 or 9 o'clock through around midnight. Obviously, the impacts, wet roadways that could be a little bit slick, and the potential for some high water. Poor drainage areas, small creeks and streams uh, could see some high water today. Eventually, once you pick up an inch to an inch and a half of rain, not just here, but all the way up the river, the Ohio River will continue to rise, and the Ohio River flooding actually starts on Friday and continues for Saturday. So as far as totals go, we're picking up to an inch to an inch and a half of rain. Our extreme northern communities might see a brief little window for snow before you transition over to rain. And you'll see that here in the future cast. We have cloudy skies this morning. Lunchtime, that rain is just off to our south and starting to move in. So by two o'clock, you can see we definitely have rain downtown. And that extreme northernmost fringe has the potential to maybe see a brief rain snow mix before quickly transitioning over to just plain old rain. Now, if you are jumping in the car and heading north of Indy or north of Dayton, those areas expect to get a little more substantial snow or sleet out of the system. But for us in greater Cincinnati, it's wet weather steady for the evening commute and a little heavier as we get towards 7, 8, 9, 10 o'clock tonight. Tomorrow morning, brief showers, but as the cold air moves in, they'll transition over to flurries and light snow showers that'll be with us off and on through the day on Thursday. So right now we're sitting at 31 degrees. The winds are calm. The skies are already cloudy and then you can expect our temperature to get up close to 40 degrees as that rain starts to move in and that will cool us down. So getting up to about 38 40 degrees by lunchtime and then that rain pushes in temperatures hanging out in the upper 30s for the afternoon. Latest check of the Ohio puts it at 45 point almost nine feet and you can see expected to go over flood stage during the day on Friday and then crest on Saturday morning around 53 feet. So this is minor flood stage, but it'll be the third year in a row in February where we have seen that flooding in the areas that need to prepare now for that uh, Covington Landing, Riverside Drive, California, all will continue to see high water backwater flooding continues into southeastern Indiana across the Lowry Creek and then issues in New Richmond, the East End uh, and also lower levels of Smale Riverfront Park. So here's the seven day forecast today. Obviously a weather impact day, though it's dry in the morning. That heavier rain kicks in for the afternoon evening. For tomorrow, I just said flurries, so there could be a couple of rain sprinkles in there early for transitioning over to flurries, but notice those temperatures stay above freezing, so I wouldn't expect any sort of accumulation on the roads for Thursday. Friday is Valentine's Day, and it's going to be a cold one. We're going to start out down into the teens and only make it to 29, despite the fact that it's going to be sunny. And then sunny skies over the weekend as we watch the Ohio River very closely with warmer temperatures next week and some rain. Kelly and Colin. Like riding a roller coaster, Randy. All right, thank you. Uh, more to come. Cincinnati public schools now stepping into new territory in order to make all students feel comfortable in school. Transgender inclusive restrooms could be coming to the area's largest school district. WLWT News 5's Helena Batapaglia spoke with school board members about this potential change. You want your kids to be able to go to school and you want them to feel comfortable. Chris Ciccinelli knows better than anyone how important it is for children to learn in an inclusive environment. As the father of a 12 year old transgender girl and co founder of the organization Living with Change, he's seen firsthand how something as simple as using a bathroom can change a child's life. It is hugely important to kids. It's hugely important to my daughter. It's hugely important to her, her safety, the way she feels. That's why he's in full support of a proposed inclusive. <laughs>